Hello everyone, welcome on back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the first Monster Bass box for 2023. This is the Lunker Hunt Takeover box, so it should be pretty interesting. Lunker Hunt can kind of be a roll of the dice sometimes. I think they do have some good products. They've had a few stinkers too, but let's go ahead and check out the box and see what we got this month. that tape here all right so in the box here new year new baits so this is the lunker hunt takeover so it's going to have some information here about how to fish these baits uh, the baits themselves you know what they are So we'll go ahead and get into it. First off, off the top here, I see the Lunker Hunt Finesse Frog. This is an interesting bait. Uh, see, they've got this pre-rigged with one of those quarter ounce uh, Ned Jig heads, which I don't really like. The problem I have with it is this little wire keeper here actually tends to get in the way, really. I don't think it really does what it's supposed to, so I would clip that off. Um, one thing you could do with the regular little frog here, maybe take like a little 2 watt EWG, just kind of run that across the top like you would a normal uh, little plastic toad or topwater frog. I think for a little downsized frog that would work well. Uh, but if you're going to rig it the way that they have here as the Ned rig, I think one great application for that uh, would be bed fishing. Uh, I could really see that doing some work on beds, and that's how I plan to try to use that this season next up another finesse series plastic pre-rig these are the finesse craws i have used these plastics before and i do like these uh, particularly for a finesse jig trailer again if you're going to use that ned head i would cut off that little wire keeper uh, for that quarter ounce ned but more than likely, I'll probably just use these for some finesse jig trailers because I've found that they work well for that. All right. Next up, we've got the Battle Beetle. This is a little wake bait. This is a half ounce. It's 2.25 inches. This is a mostly black color, which is good. I tend to prefer either black or white for the most part for a top water or similar. This is going to be, you know, subsurface, maybe up to one foot below the surface. So it's got this segmented jointed body here, dual dress trebles off the back. It's got these silver painted legs here, a little bit of a lip there, but uh, a nice little Wake bait stuff. We got some rattles, a little bit of a noise with the joints hitting together. Uh, I can see the right time of year that working out really well. So that'll be interesting to give that a shot this year. Next up, we have the Lunker Hunt Reckless Roach. This is another top water bait. This is very similar to the spider that they put out a few years back. Uh, just a little bit of a different profile, six legs instead of eight. Again, uh, this is a three-eighths ounce. It's a two-inch bait, the main body of the bait, that is. It does have those little, little finesse frog hooks on the back. So this is something you could throw on even spinning gear or like a medium action bait caster. Um, doesn't take a whole lot to set those those little hooks there, nice soft body. It's kind of got a rear weight there with those hooks as well. So it'll probably sit a little bit tail down. Interesting color. This is a uh, sort of orange, yellow, brown. Do they have a name for this particular color? Don't see anything anywhere. Firefly, it looks like is the color for this. Makes sense. 
All right, next up, another top water bait. Again, with where I'm at, we barely have fishable water, let alone, you know, top water right now. So it's going to be a little while before I can use this one, but we've got the Crush Popper. Uh, this color is called Lily Pad. This is a third of an ounce, which is a, a good weight I found for, for a popper. There's a few poppers I've used over the last uh, year that were that third ounce. It's a good castable weight. So we've got this rear fluorescent chartreuse green dress treble. A little bit of a transparent body there. Sort of a leopard frog type pattern, baby bass type pattern. Um, you know, it's a popper. Uh, decent cup to the mouth. Not a huge cup, but should be enough. I imagine this will do well. I couldn't see any reason why it wouldn't. Next up, we have the Lunker Hunt Reactor. This is a half ounce lipless crankbait. This is the silver side color. Um, I had this exact bait before and I ended up getting it hung up. Uh, but one thing I will say about this and probably very similar with these hooks as well. I imagine they're using the same hooks on this popper. Um, I did have one of these hooks bend out bend out on me before on probably between a two to three pound bass not even a very big fish so one thing i would recommend if you are going to use this uh, definitely change out the hooks i can definitely tell you that from experience show you that up close here it does have a bit of a transparent side bottom as well kind of a transparent amber color that silver and black flash i think it's definitely a good color and it will catch fish but again i would definitely change out uh, the hooks on those. I would probably recommend a little bit larger size uh, hook too. That looks to be maybe about a number six. I would step that up to maybe like a number four or number five. And lastly, uh, something I'm actually really excited about. I haven't used these before, but I've heard a lot of good things. These are the swim bentos. One of the advantages uh, with these is you have a mylar strip in here, which does help give it some rigidity and some durability but also gives it a little bit of that flash hopefully you can see that there now this is the 4.5 inch this is the dace color so these are sealed so i'm actually not going to open these right now but hopefully you can see there through the packaging that nice flash that you get from that mylar And of course we have a little Lunker Hunt sticker here. Little Lunker Hunt card. Looks like they've got a promo code MBLH20. You can save 20% over on the Lunker Hunt website. As always we got our $10 Monster Bass gift card and the golden ticket as well. So that is the January 2023 box, the Lunker Hunt Takeover box. I believe next month is going to be the Strike King Takeover, and then March they're having a Z Man Takeover as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to those next two boxes. But for now, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this particular box. Uh, which bait was your favorite? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future content that I have coming out. I would love to have you on board so we continue to grow this channel. If you could also smash that like button so we can get this in front of as many new eyes as possible. I really appreciate your all your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one.